Hello everybody, how y'all doing? Hope everybody's doing fine. Sorry about the background, but that's my damn dishwasher. I thought it would go off a damn half hour ago and it's still running. I guess the son of a bitch is going to run all night. So, I'm going to do the video anyway. I think I can talk over it um, most likely, but sorry about the background. And I do want y'all to pay a little bit of attention to the sky. Although, me waiting, I seen two chemtrails up here. And I seen the planes going by. But as you can tell now, they have either blown over or they're just gone. But the main reason why we're showing this is because I want to show you what they done at the end of the day here. Or what they ended up with since they are, they have been, you know, done for about an hour now. Hour and a half. Something like that. But as you see, right here, now that they've knocked this part of the wall out and from this part, they have literally filled the hole in that was right here all the way to there now and got dirt in the hole, which is, um, I'm assuming that's pretty awesome compared to them what they might be trying to do it looks as if now this is just speculation i don't know this but this is specifically uh speculation this right through here is a big mound of rock and it's pretty straight and level what i think they're going to do that's just my opinion is it looks as if they might be trying to level this out and get rid of the concrete in this area right here then level it out with real dirt and I think they might be since they gotta fill this 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 big canyon up right here with uh, debris and concrete I think what they're going to do is they're going to put that big machine that we took photos of or showed photos of yesterday and put it right here so they have complete dump access right here they just sit there and fill the machine up that's just an opinion I don't know that for a fact and you see that you know, there's a lot of changes happening here. I mean, it's just hours a day. You can see major drastic changes almost. It's getting pretty wild. But we do have a lot of things to talk about. So, let's move. Oh, and there's the chemtrail right there. Oh, it's right there, but it's kind of faded out on this one. It's a little too far away. In our weather today, of course, Southern California over here has still got their frequency ring down here. Northern California up here where the Orville Dam is uh, seems to be fairly clear. It doesn't look like there's any rain there at the present time or none expected for a, a little while yet. But now, as you see down here in Florida, around the Okefenokee, where the Mims Fire is, um, it has sprinkled around here a time or two today, but it wasn't a lot of rain. Not for me, but I'm 60 miles uh, southeast of the Mims Fire. And if you notice right here, there is a big frequency ring right here. In fact, let's come up a little high here. Bring that down a little bit. And let's stop it. I back up because I think it was right there. There we go. Right here. See it popping out right through here. We also have another one right here 
and I, I ain't never been able to figure out where this one's actually coming from. Now it looks like it's coming from way up here in the middle of the state, and that means it would be going around this way. Oh man, that got way out of hand. And the other one is right here. <coughs> As you see, it keeps up. Oh, there it is again. We also have one over here in Texas. And let's go to page one, two, Yeah, frequency ring right, right here. Oh yeah, big time. There it is there. And in that shot there. One, two, and then it disappears. Four, comes back. And you see for yourself. Now, whether or not it's going to intensify or cut it off, I don't know. The way this storms has been happening, coming this away, they do real good till they get about right here, and then they just kind of, you know, fizzle out. Hopefully, that this will keep coming, and the MIMS fire will be contained to a very manageable scenario, so they're not burning up more land. And we are at Oroville where you see. And we're going to close this out now. That's going to go away. <coughs> but our little meter is still in the same spot. And as you see, uh, right at the moment, there's no rain. Monday it's going to get clear for a time. Uh, that's almost Tuesday. Tuesday it's doing the same. I'll go down here to Wednesday. And Wednesday looks the same. Florida looks as if it may get some rain on Wednesday. Very good rain it looks like. And on Thursday they may still get a little bit more and that looks pretty damn intense right there. So hopefully, back at Wednesday sometime, that intense fight yeah, might get a little bit. Might get a little bit good stuff. <coughs> but we can only wait and find out, and hopefully that it does. According to this... Uh, there's spots in there that's going to get half an inch of rain. In fact, let's blow this up so we can actually see where it's at. Now up here, that's going to get an inch. There's a spot there that's going to get almost an inch. So, maybe, and that's Tuesday. Let's go back to Mon uh, Monday. Monday's going to get a little bit. Tuesday, or Monday night, I'm going to get a little. Monday later, it's going to drop back. Tuesday, not too good in the morning. Is the about let's see Tuesday about eighteen hundred it's gonna start coming in. Hopefully this is gonna stay true. And Wednesday morning is when the big stuff's gonna start hitting. All we can do is hope and pray that this keeps happening and it will 
pay off for some big rain. Uh, can't really tell at the present. Let's see. Twelve hours, twenty-four hours, three days, seventy-two millimeters, and six days, ninety-six millimeters, ten days, one hundred and two point seven millimeters. Wow. That would be four inches of rain within the next 10 days. We need more than that, but hey, if we could get it all at one time, that'd be great, but I know we're not. But still in all, if we can get it and it stays cloudy for a few days, it might just be enough to put the MEMS fire under serious control. Now y'all remember the other night we did a little piece on this and I wanted to show it tonight because it's in there pretty Pacific. You can see it pretty well and you can see the waves and what we were talking about the other night was this itself and you see the wave going across the earth just like you see it in that other thing that was running just minutes ago and they say that this is a, a man a human made bubble surrounds earth well it's a frequency wave as you see and they may be just right from seeing that to seeing this it's a little more convincing isn't it whether it's true or not, still not yet to say, but you can see for yourself when it moves, it's going down, up, down, and up. Now, it's not as good as that other little chart, but you get the general idea. And there's another little scenario I want to show you all tonight. And that would be none other than, well, I gotta find it. Well, we gotta wait for it one more time. I hit the wrong button. Sorry, I was looking at it. I didn't have the thing on the right button. But as soon as it comes back into focus here, all right. Watch this little dot right here. It's heading straight that way. We got a sun diving comet headed straight for the sun. And, well, shit. I paused it and it's still moving. Here it is right here. See it right there? And it's going to cause a little flare from the sun. Not nothing major, but right there. <clears throat> and you can see it right there. Point at it with the mouse. And it's moving quite rapid too. That makes a lot of distance in just a short period of time within less than a day. I mean, it really takes off here. And here it is right here. And it's 19, 20. It's doing it in about 24 hours for it to hit the sun from where you actually see it. I ain't, it's been a long time since I've seen one move quite that fast. I was getting it, boy. But anyway, folks, that's just one of the little things that is going on. Nothing to fear. Nothing to worry about. It's just one of those natural occurrences that happen all the time. It's not going to cause the world to flip its axis or none of that stuff. But speaking of all the things that we've been speaking of, 
Let's add a little twist to this tonight. This is something I hadn't talked about a whole lot in a while, but I'm showing it to you because I want you to look in these rooms and all these on this chart, they're pretty all lit up, except for this is not lit up and it's not showing it. I don't know why. Well, I do and you do too, but you know. And as you can tell, they seriously at work because there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's ten people in this room right now. This is not the only one to show you either. And here is seven more people in this room. So they're definitely working. And they're definitely doing something there. Aren't they? And out of all the other charts, you can see the line running across here. We showed this the other night. And it said 6.5. It says GEV. But the other night when we did this, up here in this position, right here, in this position right here, it said 4.5. Well, no, it didn't say 4.5. It said 450 GEV. But tonight it says 6,499 GEV, which would be 6.5 TEV if you add a dot in the middle. All right. <coughs> <coughs> so they are running this machine. Although they're trying to insinuate that this machine is not fully operational or is not operating. Which we can tell that that's a bunch of shit, if that makes any sense. Now, this is also running. Everything's saying off, some saying in. But as you see, there's movement and activity in here. And the ones of you that have been watching Dutch's uh, live stream nightly updates, you will also see that in those nightly updates that uh, he's been doing, you've probably been noticing a lot more deeper earthquakes as well. Now, we also found out that it ain't 100% fact that CERN is causing deep earthquakes by itself. But we do know that deep earthquakes have been occurring a lot more since they've been activating this machine than that was before they were activating it. When the machine itself does not run, it the deep earthquakes aren't quite as rapid, but hey, that's just one of those things. And as you see, this is just one more chart. Some of them are out, it says unknown out, all this craziness. But you see the charts. When this thing was down, they looked like this chart without the, the purple line at the bottom here. See my point? And they're all over the place. So they're doing something there. That's pretty much all I had to say about it. Don't do any good to say anything about it anyway, but hey. Well, folks, that's pretty much all that there is on the Orville Dam as well as far as the flyover goes over uh, well wait a minute one more place to check and I was correct there is nothing more to report on as of yet they put out yesterday this one here about the non sinkhole 
and it was a non sinkhole and uh, all of y'all I appreciate y'all for being who you are and understanding why I'm doing that I'm not trying to hurt nobody I'm just trying to make sure that it's the truth I really am in the truth there's some that are not, are not evidently or they get so strung out on believing what they think they're seeing that you can't convince them otherwise. I don't mean to hurt no one's feelings, I never have. But when I see something that's not right, I do my best to help others believe. It's kind of like when they told everybody that you'd fall off the end of the earth and now we got people trying to do the same thing yet again that's also just like physics says that you can't take a motor or a fan and blow your own cell well guess what physics is yet again wrong because you can blow a sailboat with a fan with air blown from the boat itself that's a fact and I know that because I just watched that on Mythbusters and that's no joke they did it with an airboat of no other thing ain't that weird I didn't think they were going to get it to move but they did so, you know, that's like I've said many, many, many times, that physics is only correct if the formula is correct. Remember that. And the ones of you, that, ones of those that tell you that some things can't be done because physics says so, say, how do you know the formula is right? That's all you got to do to say to them. Because... Physics has been proven wrong so many times. This unreal. So with that, folks, much love to y'all. And I hope that you subscribe to the channel. I hope you liked what you saw. I also hope that you hit the check mark so you'll get my feed sent to you. And you'll light up the bell like that by hitting the check mark in a little gearbox and hit the check mark and it should light up the bell like that much love to y'all and we will talk again soon sometime tomorrow much love y'all have a wonderful day and from my cold dead hands and i damn well mean it abolish corporate government for your freedoms and i pledge allegiance to the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands under God indivisible look folks we're not a damn democracy much love <laughs>